On today's video, we'll see how to create an image from those uh, floppy disks that you receive uh, with your Rakuma machine for uh, the CNC OSP U100 U100 or OSP E100. So as you see here, we have two floppy disks and these two floppy disks are in format OSP not uh, OS, uh, DOS and uh, we have two machines this is a serial number so what I'm gonna do is to use an external floppy drive and uh, connect it uh, through USB port and I'm gonna uh, do uh, or create a, an image for each floppy disk. So what you need first is to have an USB or thumb drive uh, and format that uh, thumb drive uh, in FAT32. Let's say Okuma OSP OSP floppy OSP floppy disk or we can call it virtual floppy disk because these are gonna be uh, virtual Okay, so now we have the drive, and then I'm gonna execute this application, OSP FD Explorer. And as you see, it's gonna open uh, the USB memory from the E drive. And then I'm gonna create the first image using the floppy that I have inserted. Okay, now what I can do is to um, insert a label to recognize uh, what it, this uh, USB is going to be for. So I can edit the label here. And then uh, what I can do is to name the virtual floppy a floppy disk so I'm gonna enter the detail with the serial number save and exit and now I'm gonna change the, the floppy disk on the floppy drive and create um, the second image from the floppy drive as well. Create. Okay, so I'm gonna enter the the memo for this one. So we have uh, the new two um, virtual floppy disk on the images. So let me close this and show you what is in. In the folder, you see we have uh, the two virtual floppy. These are in OSP format, so you can use this uh, uh, thumb drive on the 
emulator if you have any install on your computer on your CNC and then what we can do is to back up this into the cloud as I'm gonna do here And then you can do, if you need it, the reverse process, meaning that you can copy the, the complete folder into the USB. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna format again the USB memory. Okay, I'm gonna run again the emulator. And it's, as you see, it's empty now. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna copy and paste the, the complete folder. Check the content, it's okay. Okay, so let me run again the OSP and you have again the the virtual floppy disk uh, available so if you want to see the content you just click twice on each of them and then let me show you the other one okay that's all. With this, uh, you not only save uh, the or create an image from each uh, floppy disk, but you are gonna be able, if you update uh, your machine using a floppy emulator, you're gonna be able to use this content to restore the the, back, uh, the CNC if it's necessary to the system, original system. Okay, thank you.